Hey gang, how's it going? It's Cisco here, and today I am going to answer one of the most frequent questions that I get, which is, what is the best shoe for shuffling? The truth about the answer to that question is that there isn't necessarily a right or wrong scratch that there's definitely a wrong shoe for shuffling but there's not necessarily one right shoe that's gonna be the right shoe for everybody the right shuffle shoe for you really depends on your style what moves you do the most often and really your body type also um, a lot of it comes down to personal preference but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the shoes that I've used to shuffle in and share my experiences with them and then I'll tell you at the end what my all-time favorite shuffle shoe is so let me start with Converse. I actually painted these myself, so I kind of want to just show them off. Hopefully you can see on the camera, but I'm pretty freaking proud of the uh, the paint job on these bad boys. These are the first shoes that I ever shuffled in, and um, I've got to say they're some of the worst. These really sucked. The reason is Converse are super flexible, and even if you get the high tops, this thin canvas doesn't give you any support. So I got injured dancing in these shoes. Could not recommend shuffling in them. Next up, cheap off-brand shoe from Amazon. Would not recommend buying cheap off-brand Amazon shoes for any shufflers looking to avoid injury. The support, the sole, the padding, the structure of these shoes, they're not made to support you know, heavy athletic movements. So invest in your health because you only get two feet and you don't want to ruin them by getting some knockoff brand. Okay, next shoe that I shuffled in, Fila Disruptor 2s. And when I say this was my favorite shuffle shoe, I literally danced through, do you see how thick this sole is? I literally danced through until there were holes in the bottom of these shoes, like about four pairs of these. I loved dancing in Fila Disruptors, and unfortunately I can't dance in low tops anymore since I got an ankle injury, but I think that this is a really good shoe for a beginner if you like cutting shapes. Now, the reason I say cutting shapes is because there's a lot of traction on the bottom here, so if you're doing more Melbourne style with a lot of smooth gliding, this is gonna make it hard to do that. But what I love is that the sole is so thick on these shoes, so especially if you're doing toe stalls, like look, you see how hard it is to bend that? You could just stand on your toes all day in these shoes and it would support you no problem. So um, really supportive. The only thing is the ankle is cut pretty um, low here. So there's absolutely no ankle support. Otherwise, good affordable shoe for a beginner, I would say. Next, I got the Fila Ray Tracers and you can see these are like barely worn in. These are okay to dance in. I do like that your um, ankle sits a little bit lower in these, so there's a little bit more support. You're not going to roll over as easily. I do like that the sole is pretty thick and supportive, but just the grip on the bottom of these is really, really sticky, and it, it made it impossible to dance on anything that's not like really smooth concrete. So I guess if you wore them in a lot and you like really wore down the soles, that would help. But um, for the most part, I would steer clear of these. They're like 80 bucks and um, for 80 bucks, you can find a better shoe to shuffle in. Next up, Vans, high top Vans. Uh, I see a lot of shufflers dancing in these shoes. And so I thought, oh, well, there's so many people shuffling in them. They must be the perfect shuffle shoe. So I jumped on the wagon, I got a pair, and I gotta say, I really don't like them. This bottom has a surprising amount of traction and it makes it extremely difficult to do any sort of gliding, um, sliding, to do a really smooth, big running man because you're just having to fight with the traction and the friction all the time. What I do like about these shoes is high top and this is pretty thick, so it gives you a decent amount of ankle support and the sole is pretty thick even though it is flexible it's going to support you for some toe stalls and certain moves like that all in all i would say this is a decent shoe for a hybrid shuffler if you're not looking to spend a ton of money on a scale of one to ten i would probably rank this like a six and a half for me personally and my style but you know, give them a try. Go to the store, try them on, and try shuffling in the store and just see how it feels. It's not necessarily a bad decision to buy these, but I think you can do better. That being said, let me move on to my second favorite shuffling shoe of all time. And you can see how much I like these shoes because they are totally freaking destroyed. If you look at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like bubbling on the bottom where I'm starting to dance through it and there's even a little crack there. I have danced the crap 
out of these shoes and I love them. I love that this is really thick around here so it's going to be super supportive of your ankles. I love that it's a mid top not a high top so it doesn't come up so far it inhibits your ankle flexibility. That allows you to have support to keep you from rolling your ankle over without being limited in your footwork movements. You're still going to be able to get a full range of motion in these bad boys. I also really like the sole on here. I wish it was a little bit thicker in the front. It's not super supportive for toe stalls, but it is um, supportive enough that you can do some basic glides in this and it, it's going to get you to where you want to go. So I would say on a scale of one to 10, these are like an eight for me and I would definitely buy these again. These were also like 70 bucks and I would definitely get these over Vans any day to shuffle in. These are Nike Court Royale mids. This might be a women's only shoe also, by the way. So sorry guys, if that's true. <laughs> and the moment you've all been waiting for, my all time favorite shuffle shoe, Classic Air Force Ones are probably all I'm ever going to be buying to shuffle in from now on. Like, uh, uh, unless some crazy new, like, shuffle exclusive shoe comes out. These have everything that I'm looking for. Number one, thick sole, very supportive. Good for toe stalls, good for gliding. Number two, pretty minimal amount of traction, but there is a little bit on there, so you're going to have enough grip to do your footwork, but not so much that it's going to inhibit your gliding. Number three, it's a high top, but it doesn't come up too high. So I still have full range of motion to do all my footwork. I don't feel like I'm really having to fight the shoe in order to get in some more creative maneuvers. And what I love most is not only is this um, outer part pretty thick, so it's already supportive on its own. The leather goes all the way up to the top, but it has this strap on here that fits like this that you can tighten down and that just gives you a whole other layer and level to the ankle support. So as someone who has sprained their ankle not once but twice, both of them, in Jiu Jitsu class they told me I have glass ankles, um, I would highly recommend this shoe. I have even since spraining my ankle, one of them is really weak and I have completely rolled over. Um, during class and had someone stomp on the side of my foot while I was wearing these and it didn't re-sprain my ankle because the shoe just kept everything together. So um, I really cannot say enough good things about this shoe. It's a little bit pricey, but you can tell that it's high quality and it's gonna last, so I would definitely invest. Um, I bought these in the kids section because I have feet the size of a small child. I would show you, but there's a lot of creeps out there who, um, I don't want to give the satisfaction to. So take my word for it. Look for them in the kids section if you can. They're going to be a lot cheaper. And um, I did also want to say, although there are two pairs of Nikes that I had on this video that I really liked, do not get Nike blazers. I bought a pair of Nike blazers because they look awesome. I really love the aesthetics of it, but they literally ribbed the first time I shuffled in them. That shoe is so thin and so unsupportive for any type of like athletic movement. Um, and it's a real pain in the ass to try to return anything to Nike. They make it hard. So don't buy those, buy the Air Force Ones. And yeah, if you have a favorite shuffle shoe, comment below and we can just kind of get like a list of resources going for people who are on the lookout for their first shuffle shoe. I know some of these more expensive options can be intimidating, but it really is an investment in your health because you're investing in injury prevention and you're investing in having comfort while you're dancing, which if you're uncomfortable and your feet hurt while you're dancing the whole time, like you're not going to want to keep doing it. So you'll practice longer and harder if you have a good supportive shoe. So in my opinion, it's totally worth it to spend the money. And that's all I got for you today. So thank you for being here. I hope that this was helpful to you and I will see you in the next one.